My name is Hazal and I'm a third year medical student based in the UK. Join me for a few days in my life as I go on to hospital placement, shadow vascular surgeons and spend time with my friends whilst trying to be productive and get as much work done as possible. Once I was done getting ready and having my breakfast banana, I packed my bag, making sure I had my stethoscope, ID badge and iPad for placement. Guys, I just realised the trousers I'm wearing don't have any pocket. I can't function on placement without pockets, like, there's... I can't do that, so I'm actually going to change my top to a scrubs top. I don't even know if that's what it's called, but I'm going to wear that because there's pockets in the front, so... I could put my phone and pen in there. This is so much better. I'm now going to go to placement and I'll see you all when I'm back. I went to the hospital and joined the ward round, did a few jobs, spoke to patients and then came back home. Guys, I am now back from placement. Let me sort out my face and let's talk about how my day was. So I am currently on the vascular ward in placement, which is essentially all about vascularization so like blood vessels and all that type of stuff now today was actually such 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 a productive day you can probably see from the grin on my face it was just really really good the day started off with a ward round which is essentially when the consultant goes to speak to every single patient on the ward and there's usually a team of doctors so there'll be a registrar a nurse junior doctors and then me as well and during ward rounds as a medical student you don't really have much to do it's more of a learning experience where you see how the doctors communicate with the patients and also hear about about all the different conditions they're talking about. Once the ward round is complete, the junior doctors will create a list of jobs that they have to do for each patient and then they'll start by doing them. Now this is where medical students come in useful because we can help with stuff like bloods and cannulations, which is what I did today. So firstly, I took bloods from a patient and it went so well found the vein very quickly, got blood right away and honestly it was just flawless and I felt so so good about myself and now it was time for a cannulation. So I've only ever done one cannulation before and that one didn't go really well so I was a bit more nervous for this but it did end up going okay. Once that was done I had the opportunity to take a history from a patient. Taking a history is essentially when you go to a patient and try to figure out why they came into hospital and all the different factors leading up to it. The patient I was speaking to had critical limb ischemia in one of their legs. This is essentially when one of the vessels in the leg are blocked off and therefore the leg is not receiving enough blood. So yeah, I took a history from this patient and then I presented it to the consultant, which went well. It was a bit nerve-wracking but the consultant was really nice so it went okay but yeah that is pretty much my day explained it went really well i'm really happy with everything i got done it was really productive but now it's time to have some lunch and then i have a clinical skills session which i'll talk to you guys about later I had some lunch and then made my way to Liddy's room. We then walked to our clinical skills session where we practiced procedures such as catheterization and putting in an NG tube. An NG tube is a tube put into the stomach, through the nose and can be used to administer nutrition or medication to patients. Catheterization is when a flexible tube is inserted into the bladder. When that was done, I headed home and made myself some dinner. Can this camera focus please? Focus please, focus please. Can this camera focus please? Focus please. Oh, so guys, I'm gonna enjoy my dinner and watch a few YouTube videos. And then I've got work to do. I don't wanna do it, but I probably will. So yeah, I'm tired, but I need to do it. So yeah, I will do it, but let's not think about that for now. Let's think about my delicious burger and tortilla chips. Okay guys, so I have finished my dinner and now it's time to do some work. The time is 8.30 PM and I would rather go to bed I've got hiccups as well. I would rather go to bed right now, but I need to do this work. So essentially, as part of our placement, we need to write up a 
15 to 20 page report about a patient that we have picked but essentially i need to write up their history in detail and then i need to do all the different examinations on them so like cardiovascular respiratory neurological lower limb upper limb cranial nerve joints all the different examinations i've already done on my patient and then i need to write up all the findings from my patient blood tests x-rays ct scans so as you can tell this is really really long and i think this is why i have avo avoided it i can't stop hiccuping i think i've done 45 percent i'm gonna put in a real shift should we try and do like two hours and then i'll sleep at 10 30 or 11. that sounds good Guys, it's like 11 p.m. I did a bit of work. I did quite, I did quite a bit of work. A bit of procrastination in there. A bit of talking to my flatmate. But I've got a good amount of the case report done. I've got an action plan for tomorrow because I need to go get a few more like details about my patient. But yeah, I'm so tired. I'm gonna go to bed, and I'll see you all tomorrow. All my friends pulled up for good, good morning, guys. We're back from placement and- Can't see how knackered we are. Yeah. <laughs> we literally look so tired, yeah. um, but we're all dressed and looking a bit cute because we're gonna take some very important pics today. For a very important occasion. Yeah. Me and Hazal, by the time this video comes out, I feel like they would have seen the first one already. I know. But we're actually halfway through medical school. As we speak right now, we are 50% wow. doctors. Like- Us two together makes us a full Us two together doctor. makes a full doctor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah we're taking some key insipates and content related to that as well to release next week i know i can't believe it though loki it's actually crazy we're gonna go blow up some balloons and then take some cute pics yeah Update. basically we set up all of these lights we did all of this and didn't like the instagram pictures i want to cry and we've realized the lighting in my room is a lot better so now we're <laughs> we're migrating upstairs upstairs <laughs> really what's that baggage you've got <laughs> Guys, I know it looks a bit, mm, but it the looks camera looks, Let me but show you guys. It looks good over here. You see what I mean? Wait, that's, that's what yeah. we care about. I just want to get the pictures and stop. Guys, it's a few hours later now. Maybe, maybe not a few hours, maybe like one hour later. We finally got the pictures we wanted and then we had some food and now as you can see, Liddy's already working. As I told you guys yesterday, the SSC case report thingy is due in two weeks. So we need to finish mm -hmm. that. We spent the rest of the evening studying. morning guys this morning i got up and once again got ready for placement today's day at the hospital consisted of me going into theaters and observing the surgeons perform a cholecystectomy which is the removal of the gallbladder guys i'm back from placement i'm out of breath because i went up my stairs that is so bad. I'm back from placement now. I'm so tired. I need to get changed and then I'm going to make my way to Liddy's house because we're going to have like a late lunch there and then do a few other bits and bobs. Guys, I'm currently in Liddy's kitchen. And now, like I said, we're going to have some lunch. We've got some of Liddy's mum's food that we're going to heat up, which I'm really excited for. I, like, I can't lie, I only had a banana for breakfast and I'm starving. guys 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 so it's literally 7 p.m you're probably wondering 
what happened um my camera died at Liddy's house and so i couldn't vlog because i didn't have a spare battery next to me uh but essentially i don't even think you guys saw the food well i had fish vegetables and rice the food was really nice and then we sat and did some work together so that was all chill but now i'm home and i've got a few adulting tasks to do so let's grab my whiteboard this is my adulting list of things to do and let's start with the first one which is laundry which is my favourite, most favourite thing to do. Next up, I need to clean all of this mess. My desk is too messy. I need to clean it. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, this smoothie is actually really good. I also probably like it because I haven't had a smoothie in a really long time. Of course, let's not forget, I get to tick it off my adulting to-do list. Look at that, one, two, three, four, five, six things done. One thing left and that's the Harvard Business course. We released a video some time ago about whether we are going to be intercalating or not. I'll put the video up here if you guys haven't watched it. Spoiler alert, me and Lizzie are not intercalating and instead we have decided to do a Harvard Business course. Essentially it's a course about business and we are doing it with the Harvard Business School online. So it's an online course and it started last week so we finished our first module last week and we have our second module this week which I'm going to do now. Guys, I feel like this whole vlog has literally just been me in my room. Every single scene has been in this room, but it's fine. Um, I'm like 40, 45% through the Harvard course module, but obviously that's fine because we have like one week to complete it. So I got a considerable amount done. What is my hair doing? It needs to be washed, but let's just ignore what it looks like for now. But anyway, thank you all very much for watching this vlog. If you guys want to see more vlogs like this, you can check out this playlist here. Um, which will show you all of the medical school vlogs we have done. If you guys want to see more content like this, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all in a new video next time. Bye.